Doc, patulong po. Gusto ko pong malaman kung ano mga dapat na protein supplements ang aking inumin. Andito na po ako sa low-carb fasting lifestyle. Nakikita ko yung mga ibang community members nagsasupplement with whey protein. Ano nga po ba ang dapat kong inumin, Doc? Ito po si Dr. Iris, Filipino-Canadian medical doctor based in Vancouver. Isa po ako sa mga low-carb advocates tumutulong sa mga community members natin, lalo na po doon sa mga walang resources. I do this through all my free trainings, free resources, free programs, mga free Zoom meets para sa mga walang pambayad sa doktor. Lahat yan matatagpuan sa aking community at sa akin pong webpage, levelupwithdriris.com. And ngayon, pag-usapan po natin specifically about supplementing. So yung whey protein na kadalasan tinatanong sa mga live broadcasts natin, kailangan ba talaga yan? Personally po, I advocate for getting our proteins from natural sources. Hindi po mahirap i-meet ang ating protein requirements. If you look at the daily protein requirements, the one that we promote in our community is the 1.2 to 1.7 grams per kilogram body weight of protein na kakainin niyo per day. So how does that look like? For example, kayo po ay 50 kilogram female. Kung kukunin natin yung gitna ng 1.2 to 1.7, then let's use for example the 1.5 grams. So 50 kilograms times 1.5 grams will give you 75 grams of protein per day. Ito yung kailangan ninyong makain na protein per day para ma-meet yung inyong protein requirement at kayo ay manatiling nourished, well-nourished at hindi mag-waste ang inyong muscle kahit na kayo ay naka-low carb. Remember po that proteins are the building blocks ng ating mga muscles. Siya yung kailangan ng mga enzymes natin. So very important po, essential ang proteins. Kailangan talaga nating ma-meet ang protein requirement natin for the day. Fats are also essential pero hindi strict ang calculation ng fats. You just eat up to satiety hanggat mabusog kayo and you feel satisfied. Ang carbs alam natin hindi essential. So kahit walang carbs, maaari tayong mabuhay. We can make carbs inside the body from raw materials ng proteins and fats that will get turned into the glucose that we need through the process of gluconeogenesis. So, importante-importante yung protein po. So, ngayon, balik tayo doon. Sa example natin na 75 grams na requirement, that's pretty easy to meet po. Ano? So, if you look at this visual, makikita po ninyo na yung 75 grams of protein is really just a combination of a few different things. So, say for example, kayo ay mag-decide na kayo ay mag-titimad two meals a day. Then, you can eat, let's say, 40 grams in the morning. And then, yung remaining na 35 grams ninyo, kasi ang total ninyo is 75 grams ang kailangan ninyo, you can meet that in your other meal. So, ang total pa rin niya is 75 grams. Kung titignan ninyo, again, dito sa visual na ito, madali lang siyang ma-meet. So, what does 40 grams look like? Madali lang po siya. It can be, you know, a palm-sized amount ng chicken or fish and just have a little bit more than yung nakalagay dyan. So for example, for 30 grams, it is 120 grams, for example, of chicken. Then dagdagan lang ng konti, then that will already give you 40 grams of proteins. So then, na-meet nyo na yung inyong protein requirement for that first meal. And then you go to your second meal, yung kulang ninyo, di ba? So 75 minus the 40 that you ate in the first meal. So 35 na lang ngayon ang bubunuin ninyo na protein. You can easily meet that again by choosing from all these different protein sources na nandito kung alin ang gusto nyo. So you can have a combination of eggs, you can have a combination of fish, combination of meats. Pwede pa nga kayong magdagdag ng snacks like yung nuts. You can also have yung inyong cheese as a side dish. And so, mamimit nyo na yung protein requirement nyo na yun. Paano naman doon sa mga nagbabodybuild? Kasi yung iba, like especially the men in our community, nagbabodybuild, gusto talaga magbuild ng muscles, then you can have, you can use the higher protein requirement, yung 2 gram per kilogram body weight. Ito maaaring mag-vary. Kung talagang goal ninyo is to become like bodybuilders, then perhaps you, you can benefit from using yung mga supplements. But for an ordinary person with regular fitness na nag exercise katulad ko, regular exercise, pero hindi naman nagbabodybuild, gusto ko lang magkaroon ng muscles, then you can easily meet that just by eating enough proteins po based on your calculation, base sa inyong weight. And so, the answer to kailangan mo pa bang mag weigh protein, kailangan mo pa bang mag-supplement, whatever, kung ang iyong requirement naman ay manatili lamang healthy, hindi ka naman specifically magbabodybuild talaga, magko-compete, you don't really need 
itong mga additional protein supplements na yan. Maaari nyo po siyang makuha sa natural whole foods, dadagdagan lamang. Like ako, during my workout days, my muscle building days, I just add up more proteins. Dinadagdagan ko lamang po para ma-meet yung aking muscle building needs. But it's not necessary to have yung mga protein supplements po natin. Remember na kapag sobra-sobra rin ang protein, eventually it will stimulate more insulin and it will contribute to fat production. Kasi syempre, kahit na mas mababa ang stimulation ni protein sa insulin, it can still stimulate it way more kung sobra-sobra din yung iyong protein na kinakain. And the same goes for fat. So proteins and fat, pag sobra-sobra ang ating kinakain yan, then that can also swing yung metabolism natin into fat storage pa rin kahit na tayo low carb. So sana po nakatulong ang video na ito. Kung kailangan ng extra gabay, join my various communities. Kung kailangan ako makausap sa Zoom, nandyan lang po ang link sa mga communities ko. Download all our resources. Nandyan lang sa levelupwithdriris.com. Marami pang iba dyan. I am always wishing you holistic wellness. Stay healthy and stay low carb. Music